the buzzer is very important to me. <laughs> In this video, we will attach our remote receiver. This is the Crossfire Nano, a long range receiver. It's very, very reliable. Also, it's very easy to install. Basically, we have four pins here. The ground pin, five volts, transmit, and the receive UART. Let's set that aside and look at this model here I designed to attach the receiver and the video transmitter. Designed this in Fusion 360. It was like a two hour print. Basically, it works like this. Battery connector goes here. This is flexible filament, so it's TPU. Battery cable goes like that. The buzzer goes there. Tiny receiver goes in this slot here. Let's add some conformal coating on our RX using clamps with electronics as small as this one because there are a lot of small things on this and I don't want to damage it so that's why I'm attaching it like so. Try not to add conformal coating on buttons. See as I only apply it next to it. And don't worry about the pads because we will solder right through that. That is done. While that dries, we're gonna attach our model to the frame. The cable goes in like so. Now I'm gonna route my XT60 like so. Comes out on the other side. I'm very happy with that. Okay. And now we're gonna use these zip ties to secure it in place. Cut the excess off. As you can see, that is a very nice fit. If you take a good look at this model, you can see that I have some M3 nuts right there. So when I come with my VTX here, I can actually screw them in with M3 screws. So it's nice and secure on the frame. Very good. Okay, let's look how our RX sores are doing. Almost dry. I'm gonna hold it from the antenna here and do the other side as well. There are no buttons and switches and anything on this side so I can just go all over the place. I will also add heat shrink tubing on this so one layer is probably enough. Okay I'm happy with that. There we go. Now I'm gonna plug in the flight controller, position it in place. That looks good. Now we need to pick a transmit and a receive pin. This is ground, this is 5 volt transmit and receive. Okay, so this is perfect. So I'm gonna use these four pads here to connect my RX. We need 5 volts for our receiver, so I'm gonna take ground from here, 5 volts, our transmit and our receive pin. While the soldering station heats up, we're gonna take a look at this buzzer. Buzzers are quad savers, so let's get this ready. Let's cut this off. We're gonna use new cabling for this. Cut off the heat shrink tubing. So now the heat shrink tubing comes off. Let's clamp the buzzer in here. Use some tweezers to help us remove these old wires. And we're gonna use new wires. That is done. We're gonna attach that later. Okay, so we're gonna add a little solder. The first one's ground. And then we have five volts in. There we go. The transmit pin. And then we have the receive pin. That looks good. Now, these are the wires that we got with this receiver. Let's check them out. Okay, so this is the heat shrink that we're gonna use after we done with the wiring. These are the ones that I'm gonna use first. Pick some tweezers, maybe add just a little flux. There we go, just a little. The first one's ground, so that means this black wire goes to the first pin there. Heat up the pad and push the wire in, and just like that and now five volts next is the transmit pin and then the receive pin yellow for transmit and white for receive there we go 
So those are all our wires connected. Nice, awesome. Before we go any further, clean off the flux with some isopropic alcohol. Now let's take a little informal coating, just a little, just like that. I know that we're gonna put this in heat shrink tubing, but sometimes when I land in, for example, wet grass, some of that wet grass might get into the heat shrink tubing and cause shorts and then you lose expensive electronics. Let's set that aside, wait until it dries properly, and install our buzzer. Many pilots don't use buzzers, but my quad was saved so many times by this little inexpensive thing that I don't call a build finished until I put the buzzer on. I'm gonna use solder bot again. Okay. That is interesting. Okay, let's try that. Wire left on this pin. And I need to remove, here we go. Let's make sure that the other pin is clean as well. Okay, that looks clean to me. Let's add some fresh solder on these pins. Next, we're gonna take the thinnest wire that we have. You can find this model on Thingiverse as well. Let's actually look at our flight controller here and figure out where the buzzer pin is. Okay, so this is the buzzer pin. This is the buzzer positive and negative pads. So this is where I need to put my... Ooh, that's a long way. Okay, no problem. I have a lot of wire. About that much. That should do. Okay, we have our wires. Now we need some heat shrink tubing. Ooh. That's good. I usually put the positive stuff on the outside of the clamp, so that's how I know. Let's tin those pins. And those pins are now tinned. Let's strip our wires. And okay, that's good. Just a touch. There we go. I'm happy with that as well. And now, there we go. The red wire is attached. Okay. Now let's add the heat shrink. All the way. There we go. Other side is done. Get your favorite lighter and give it some heat. That's mighty fine. I want my buzzer to face up. This is very difficult on camera. As we discussed, it's gonna go this way. I designed this so it's a tight fit. I would like to use one of those plastic nuts to secure my flight controller there. Okay, that is awesome. Another one on the other side. Okay, I'm happy with that. Tin the end. And now let's tin our pads. Touch it with a little flux because they're very close to each other and I want to make sure they're not bridging. Check this out. And you add a little flux and then touch it with a little heat. That happens. See? And let's use our tweezers. Bring it in like so. Hold it like this. Bring it in there. Okay, and now the other one. Okay, let's inspect that. Always inspect your soldering. That looks good. More than enough space to attach my RX. It is time to add some heat shrink. Book, 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 book. Just a little too long, you know what? Perfection. And on the other side. Be very careful, these heat shrink tubings are super sensitive. Just until you see you can, okay. And now let's finish this side. And just one more touch here. Is that good enough? Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy with that. This is how our RX goes in here, like so. Under the arm, like this. That's a really nice fit. Now we're gonna tin them pads. Oh, 
on bridge okay so I'm gonna cut it like a short cut off the heads okay It's all soldering so far. And now we're gonna add the transmit pin. Okay, that good. That's really good. Okay, so ground 5 volts transmit and receive. There we go. Our Crossfire RX is almost done. Before we continue, I noticed that I have forgotten something. Conformal coating, it's an important part of any build. So let's apply conformal coating and we're done. Put the flight controller back. One last step, grab some zip ties. So this is the Immortal T antenna. This is how I like to attach it. When you're done, it should look like that. That feels super solid. It's starting to look like a quad. Boom, boom. So that's how it looks like. And on the other side, in the next video, we will install the camera and the VTX. Good. Solder soccer time.